Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, we're working on a password protected input. Bam. All right, so uh, bringing some password protection to you guys. So this is the system right here. So this is your input. Uh, you can enter, you know, whatever items, uh, and unless it's the actual specific item with a specific name, the door will not open. What door? There's a door back there. I'm just too lazy to wrap it around. This is just to make the example as easy as possible for you guys. Uh, okay, so basically the item specific is a tripwire hook named key. Uh, when I enter that item, the door will open. For example, I have another item, a comparator named key, and it does nothing, okay? When I put the tripwire hook named key, it opens the door. Why? Because that's the password, key. And it's a tripwire hook named key. So there it is. And then the door opens, okay? Uh, don't worry about the anvil. I mean, you need the anvil, of course, to name things. So it's just there for, for being there. So uh, let's build this thing and then I'll explain it as we go along. So we're gonna start off with a hopper, kind of where all the magic happens. Comparator sticking out that way. And uh, this specific example is gonna use four lines of redstone. You can actually do more if you mess around with the contents of the hopper. Uh, and uh, you know how kind of how that extends based on what's inside of it So for right now this example is going to involve this and you guys can play with rest. So um, First off, let's get a filler. So 64 dirt pretty quick uh, And then from there on you need four additional items and you also want these items to not be able to just You know go in here. So for example paper is one of the items I use here But see how it's not it's not going through why because the ones that I have in there are named something so let's do that we're gonna use paper as our filler and the other one I called them junk let's use this one three of them and let's call those uh, filler this is just to kind of highlight the fact guys that you can call them whatever you want you don't have to call them junk you don't have to call them filler we're gonna just use three items and we're gonna call them filler they can be completely different items as well with completely different names that doesn't make a difference i'm just gonna use three name filler that's it and then we have to decide what we want the key to be um let's use in this case what should we use as a key let's use uh, a rose okay and this rose we're and actually we need two we need two at the minimum of course if you lose your key then just make yourself some more keys we're gonna call these um and uh, what should we call them we'll call them master key all right there we go so then we're gonna put one of the master key named roses in there and then we're gonna keep another one so basically how this works right now is if you notice there's 64 items 65 66 67 68 this is a threshold for three redstone dust lighting up as soon and let me give you some kind of uh, input so you guys can kind of hear it working uh, as soon as there is a um, 69th item, the threshold hits for an additional piece of redstone. You see that? Let's take it away and it closes, okay? So that's how the system works. Um, from there on, of course, you don't want people having direct, ac uh, direct access to it. So if you're gonna approach it in this manner, of course, put a hopper coming out of it. Um, uh, if you wanna go kind of from a top you know top down situation like this and then you're actually dropping the items in and of course you know just set up your little platform or whatever and then get your hopper going into that hopper so for example we'll put you know different items uh, a key called key a competitor named key none of it are going to work unless it's a rose named master key you see that uh one thing and of course again you have to retrieve it manually so there's that. Uh, one thing that I wasn't sure on, and let's experiment on it now. I'm not sure if it is uh, caps, like, uh, you know, if it's capitalized or or so on, if it makes a difference. Let's find out. I was actually curious about that, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that for the video. So the other one's master key with a capital M A uh, M. So let's just, yeah, lowercase, and then we'll just lowercase everything and see if that makes a difference. All right, so again, uh, the normal name for it in here is Master Key with a capital M and a capital K. Let's see if uh, capitalizing things makes a difference. It does make a difference. So it's actually very, very specific. It has to be uh, correctly uh, capitalized in lowercase and whatnot and spelled and so on. Fantastic. As always, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe up top and peace out.